Good morning YouTube, welcome back to another video and you might be wondering why everything is so different now. I'm on a motorcycle right now. It's hot as hell, I don't even have a goddamn jacket on. It's like 6 o'clock in the morning going on 7 and it's already like 80 degrees. <laughs> welcome back guys, I'm back. Right now I'm riding on a 2018 Yamaha R3. I purchased this like six months ago, I think, right around six months ago. And I finally got a new helmet mount for my GoPro and a new mic. So I think you guys know what that means. I'm finally gonna be back making videos. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick update about me coming back making videos and I have a new motorcycle there won't be any more pit bike videos but you know we have this now <laughs> way better than a pit bike I'll tell you that right now finally got my mount right on the centerpiece right here and of my helmet and I got the new microphone I know the quality of the audio isn't the best just because I'm still trying to figure out how to manage with all the wind because going even 40 miles an hour you can probably hear some wind so I'm still trying to work on you know fixing that issue finding where the best mic placement is and we'll definitely go from there I'll adjust it probably every video and just try and figure out what is best right now like I said I'm riding on a 2018 Yamaha R3 it's a 321 cc sport bike um, I've done actually quite a few mods to it so far nothing crazy but enough to change it a little bit it's pretty loud right now I have an aftermarket exhaust on it just a, a little I think it's anodized racing uh, what is it anodized racing full system pipe where it's just it cuts out the cat pretty much and just replaces the headers and goes all the way back it's just it's pretty much a straight pipe and then I have a little Chinese aftermarket uh, slip on exhaust with the baffle still in because with the baffle out it is crazy loud so the few mods that I have on this bike is to start off with is a double bubble windscreen as you can see it's uh, tinted you can barely see through it so kind of wish I just got a tinted one and not like pretty much fully smoked out you can kind of see so next up that I've done to the bike is the shorty adjustable levers which man do they change the bike completely it so much comfortable than the the stock levers the stock levers came out to about here and that was just kind of obnoxious honestly you kind of tell that the grips are changed which I love these grips they offer really good grip at this point right about here it's starting to wear out a little bit which obviously it's just a palm of my hand it keeps rubbing you know up and down up and down which is fine I'm gonna swap this throttle tube out for most likely an R6 throttle tube just because it apparently has like less of a less of a drag like that next up on the list I have a phone mount believe it or not I got this phone mount from Walmart in the little car section and I was like man I kind of want a magnet mount but I just I don't want to spend a crap ton of money buying one and most of them they click on your handlebars and as you can see I have no room to put a phone mount at all unless I put the one that hooks on here or with that bolt there but they're the ram mounts are expensive just for a foam mount so for this this was ten dollars at walmart and here we go oh never gets old sounds so good now but yeah this was ten dollars at walmart it's a little magnet mount as you can see you tighten it like that but it can go 360 whatever it's uh it's held on by the 3m sticky tape so other than that I have also changed I don't know if I'm gonna be able to 
lean over to see this. It's the front turn signals on the stock one. If you look up a picture of the 2018 Yamaha R3 or any R3 in the United States, it's these big old orange turn signals and they're just terrible looking. So I got the TST Industries halo flush mount signals. So it has a blue halo around it. You can get white halo and amber halo, I think red, all that type of stuff. But I decided to get blue and it matches really good with this bike. So also what I have done is this tank pad from Yamaha. It's the, I guess their aftermarket, but OEM. Uh, tank pad this was probably one of the most expensive things that I put on the bike was just for the tank pad this was like 50 bucks just because it has I think it's like real carbon fiber all that bullcrap and the R3 logo as you can see it's the same R3 logo so other than that I also have the integrated tail light from TST Industries it looks beautiful I'm definitely gonna do a video on all these mods just all together so you can see them close up and see exactly how they fit sorry for the wind I know it's it's terrible and I'm trying to figure out ways to get it to stop I'm thinking about getting a chin curtain for my uh, I'm thinking about getting a chin curtain for my helmet to try and block off the wind a little bit so lastly, I have the TST Industries Fender Eliminator, just a regular one, not the adjustable one, and it does what it's supposed to. It makes the bike a lot cleaner, so that way there's no turn signals in the back, only in the tail light. So yeah, that's gonna be it, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you could share this video, I'd be super appreciative of that. So other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and share this video if you can. Everybody stay safe out there, and I'll see you next time. Peace.